Hey friends welcome to new business ideas. Today we look in the business. How to starting a fish farming business. Doing the fish farming business in India can prove to be very profitable because about 60% of India's population likes to eat fish. The main reason for this is the deliciousness of fish and the many proteins and vitamins present in it due to which it remains the first choice of meat eaters. And also people from all corners of India and abroad will find many people who eat fish. so the demand for fish always remains in the market in this situation if you start fish farming then it can be a very profitable business for you to start this business it is very necessary to have water at the same time there are many rivers lakes and seas in our country with whose help anyone can start this business at the same time you also need land to do this business in which water can be filled and after catching the fish can be kept and farming in it market scope for fish farming business in india more than 60% of people like to eat fish in their food and it has a share of 1.4% of india's gdp if we talk about the entire agriculture related business then their share of indian gdp is 4.6% you can guess from this how much business is flourishing in fish farming india the demand for fish is increasing not only in india but all over the world At the same time the main reason for the increase in demand is the deliciousness of fish and the sources of many proteins and vitamins present in it that's why its market is increasing globally however it is also the task called fish farming that is complicated or difficult but if it is started with proper technology and research then the difficulties in it can probably be easily fought so it is better to start only after a lot of thinking and deep research Therefore the business of fish farming can be the right decision for an entrepreneur. Investment for fish farming business. As far as the cost of starting a fish farming business is concerned, it depends on how big the pond is. You can also open a small scale fish farm according to the size of the pond you keep fish in. And then more fish seeds have to be put in it, which increases the cost. In the fish farming business plan in India if you start with a normal pond then you can start fish farming at a cost of about 50000 rupees and in a big pond about 1 to 1.5 lakh rupees to supply water to the pond you will have to buy a water pumping set which will cost around 30000 rupees and buy a fishing device or net according to the size of your pond you will have to hire hard working workers that is if the total cost is added to start it on a large scale it will take about 5 lakh rupees location selection for fish farming it is very important to choose the right place for fish farming keep in mind that environment and place make a lot of difference in fish farming for example fish grow slowly in winter or in colder areas if you live in india then try to complete the construction of the pond in the winter season so that you start raising fish a little before the summer comes and a constant supply of water is the most important aspect of fish farming if you want to start in a community you must choose a pond with a decent water source if the location is in a city or town however you must have access to the municipality's water supply select species for fish farming Fish farming is the most important and essential thing in business in India selection of fish species for farming In India, people use in abundance to eat fish of species like rohu, katla, mural, tuna grass, sharp and hyla, silver crop, common crop and more. So the fish farming of these species will be more beneficial for you. These fish also adapt themselves according to the monsoon and the situation. However, the climate of India is considered favorable for all types of fish farming. But even after this, the entrepreneur doing fish farming business has to choose the fish breed. After considering many things like the fish produced in that area and environment, local demand and so on. Pond equipment for fish farming. Ponds are constructed for fish business in many ways. If you do not have space, then you can buy big plastic tanks. Or if you have enough space, then you can build a big pond. On the other hand, if your budget is less, then you can easily build a small pond with the help of shovel. after the construction of the pond bleaching powder and lime are sprayed due to which the insects and unnecessary creatures that harm the fish in the selected area die nowadays most of the people use biofloc fish farming by not constructing the pond 
Another important aspect is the procurement of certain types of equipment. And some of the basic tools and equipment needed in fish farming are the following. Pumps, nets and send reels, aeration devices, graders, fish counters, handling and grading equipment. Feeds arrangement for fish. To speed up the fish trade, it is necessary that the fish can survive in the pond and increase their number. Therefore, you should make arrangements for the necessary food of the fish in advance. Keep in mind that the food should be favorable for the fish and if possible. And the entrepreneur has to prepare the pond with such a technique that the fish continue to get food even inside the pond. But fishers need outer feed in addition to inner feed. Keep in mind that good quality fish food helps in rapid growth of fishers. And most of the farmers or entrepreneurs of India who are associated with fish farming consider the internal food produced in the pond is suitable for the fish. But if the entrepreneur wants to do commercial production of fishers, then only indoor food is not enough for the fishers, and the entrepreneur has to provide nutritious and high quality outer food also to the fishers. Care and management for fish farming. The duty of the entrepreneur does not end only after arranging for commercial fish farming. Now is the time to take good care of your fish. An entrepreneur doing fish farming business has to keep the environment of the pond friendly to fish. At the same time nutritious and quality food also has to be fed to the fish. But apart from all this, proper management and care of fish also has to be done. Especially when the fish keep growing, they require special care. So the entrepreneur should test the pH level of the pond water regularly. According to one figure, the ideal pH level for fish farming is 7 to 8. Apart from this, the entrepreneur will have to ensure the safety of the fish in the fish pond from various predators and other birds that damage them. And also the entrepreneur will need to take necessary steps against fish diseases. As it is said about diseases that prevention is better than cure. So the entrepreneur should manage and take care of fish in such a way that there is no adverse effect on their health. Therefore, take special care of the care of the fish. Marketing for fish farming. The main market for selling fish in the fish farming business is the fish market. But if the production capacity of the entrepreneur exceeds the demand for fish available in that particular area, then the entrepreneur may need an effective marketing plan. And even today, most of the fishermen sell their produce easily in the local markets. A market is set up to sell fish in almost every city of India, where you can also go and sell your fish. Apart from this, you can also sell your fish directly to any hotels or small shopkeepers. But there is a huge demand for Indian fish in the international markets as well. Therefore, if the entrepreneur wishes, he can also export his product to foreign countries. We hope in this fish farming business video will help you in initiating your own business. If you like in this video please like and comment. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching friends. For more business ideas, find in our channel video playlist. And subscribe to new business ideas.